The question was put to uh, Kareem Hunt. Um, you know, if if the Browns need to lean more on him and Nick Chubb, um, are they ready? Here's Kareem Hunt. I mean, whatever it takes. I mean, we 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 got uh, some other great receivers in there too, so uh, those guys can make plays. And uh, yeah, I mean, whatever it takes to win. If they ask, call our number more, then we will we'll be ready. We know uh, what we're capable of doing. You know, running the football, and uh, we just got to come out there and make it. You know, make it happen when the team needs us. And definitely, we needed a touchdown and. Uh, a good drive and coach Kevin does a great job of calling plays and that's the thing Mary Kay um you know we've talked about the the options so when you don't have Jarvis Landry there's some options if Odell isn't there there's some options it's it's um it is a depth league and the Browns are going to need some of that depth on offense right now yeah you know I've, I've often said that this is a pick your poison offense and even if you don't have Jarvis, and even if you don't have Odell Beckham Jr., you still have a lot of places to go with the football. You do have those young guys, so they're going to have to try not to make mistakes in the event that Odell's not out there. Um, but you've got three really good tight ends that can p- catch passes for you. And the guy we just talked to there, Kareem Hunt. I mean, he led the Browns with five touchdown catches last season. He had seven in 2018. And he caught about 53 passes for 455 yards for the Chiefs as a rookie. So this is a player who can play in the slot. He can split out wide. He can catch it out of the backfield. He can be a big part of your passing game as well. So I think they have so many weapons that they can be creative with, even without Jarvis and even without Odell. They still have speed. They still have the option to do trick plays and things like that. Now, obviously you want your two Pro Bowl wide receivers back in there, but if they don't have them, it's not time you know, to cry about it. It's time to figure out how to use the rest of these weapons effectively. And, and a lot of what you say about uh, Kareem Hunt, you could say the same thing about Demetric Felton. You can line them up in the backfield, you can line them up in the slot. There were times when they were on the field together and I would imagine that gives you the opportunity to, to get one of them on a matchup that you like that doesn't work for the defense. Yeah, I had been saying that in uh, over the summer when we were doing our podcasts. Uh, I had been talking about saying that I wanted to see Kareem Hunt and Demetric Felton on the field together uh, because when you have those two guys on the field, you don't know if it's going to be a run or a pass and you could do some really cool things with them. And I did, I, I talked about that a lot over the summer and some people gave me a little pushback on that, like thinking, Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. You can't even get, uh, you know, Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb on the field together, but you have to look at the dynamics of what different players bring to the table and Kareem Hunt and Demetri Felton give you the opportunity uh, to really confuse the defense on run versus pass, which is basically uh, the, the fundamental building block of Kevin Stefanski's offense.